hi there manish vishal from my web and this video i'm just i'm just going to show you how to make a product review slider like this as you can see that here we have uh, six products and there's all products is one line actually one row and it's a have two navigation key like previous key and uh, next key okay so if you want to know how to make these things so just watch it, watch watch this video at the till up the end and hit the subscribe button for watching my new videos so now i'm just coming back to my code and reset all the things so i remove the ecom only okay i'm so sorry for that yeah ecom okay and here is our previous videos code okay now i'm coming back to my index.php file and as you can see that here is our all the credential.minuses file is already connected and in the js file here is also all the credential.min.js file is connected with that okay now i'm just co collapse all the all the product product card section collapse product card yeah here is product card here is product card and here is product card and the last one is here is also product card okay now before the starting of these things all the product cards we just we just need to write the div and the, take the class name is all casual okay and close and and cut it and at the end of all the product cards we just need to close the div cut of that pro, all casual and press the control s now I'm going. Uh, I'm going to my, uh, not my, uh, all casual search on the all casual, and just go to the home page of home, uh, home page of all casual, and click on the demos, and click on the responsive button, and you just need to copy all the things like the uh, live example, control C to P copy and go back to your main.js file and after the ending of dot slider file we just put the code of at here and yeah also copy these things yeah it's a comma okay and here is your 300 and here is 5 and here is 4 okay now press the control s and check in the browser refresh yeah as you can see that your all the product is now in the row now your next target is to set the buttons at as you can see here is the two buttons which is at here okay so now you just coming back to your status file and write the codes for that so here is your dot section hyphen product Pro, yeah, that product cards. Okay, and a dot. All casual hyphen. Not 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 hyphen, and a dot. All nav. It's a have a button. Dot all next okay now copy and comma and paste it here and here is brave okay now write the code for that so the width is now 50 pixel uh, text align is center background is okay sorry for that yeah the background is like a uh, green yellow green yellow the color is white so and the height okay the height is also 50, 50 pixel only okay after that the line height is 50 pixel or 40 pixel I put the 40 pixel at here 
and the position is now absolute because this is adjust with these relative things and the outline is none okay now press now refresh that things as you can see that here is our next time previous button okay now coming back now it's time to change the other things I copy this and paste it here from the right is 0 pixel and from the top is 100, 150 pixel okay this is the next okay from left is also 0 pixel and from top is 150 pixel only okay now press ctrl less and check in the browser again refresh sorry for that yeah Mm, it's not working. Let me check why it is not working. Mm, where is that? Uh, actually, this is the prev. Okay, it's not next. It's the prev previous button, and I forget to put the S. It's not card only. It's cards. So I write the cards, and here is also cards. Now press the Control S for save, and I refresh this page. Yeah, as you can see that all the buttons is now working fine and all things is now working good now I'm change the image of that okay party test that okay now press the control s and check in the browser again refresh yeah, as you can see that all the product images is now changed and uh, all things is now doing well uh, as you can see that here is our next time previous icon is not looking too good it's so it's, it's too small so what you need to do uh, you just go to go to the alt gradual dot hyphen mean file and press the control F and find all slash next or pray button okay and okay sorry yeah brave and here is a span uh, where is that yeah I just said here is our span so what I put okay I'm going to the font on some Font awesome and go to the sorry fontason.com and search the icon is next. Okay, you see that here is arrow right. So I am going to the span tag and right I class equal fs fa hyphen. What is that? Arrow right. Yeah, a double r o w hyphen right. and close the i tag and the same thing is doing with oh uh, yeah here is it as you said here is the next area level is is that i class equal between the double double quotes fs fa 
hyphen mm, arrow right okay and close the i tag and here is not right here is left because this is the previous button left now press the control s and check in the browser with the hard reload so i press the control plus set plus r for hard, hard reload as you can see that the that icon is looking too good now i i hope you uh, you know the things how to make a product crazy slider using these things so now in the next video we are working on the some ad admin panel things so meet you soon in the next video thank you so much